What up guys? Welcome to a new episode of Make a Beat with Blute Deconstructed. Today I'm gonna show you how I produce Blissless featuring Slug Christ and Fences. Um the song came out last year and was part of my um Blute Couture collection. In this video today I'm gonna explain you, I'm gonna show you how I produced it, how I sliced it up, how I sampled the song. Um, so actually the song that I sampled was a Fences demo back I think back in 2019 or even maybe like 2018, late 2018. It was uh, Casper uh, who linked us up with each other and um, so big shout outs to Casper for uh, linking us up and um, making this uh, possible. Let's have a listen. Doesn't matter how fucked up the day this divorce gets I'm a stable is where they keep the horses Someone told you that life was just a war, kid Now I know Now I know I'll never be angry with you It's always been the plan Very dope, very nice. Um, I started to get in touch with uh, uh, Slug Christ also through a connection that Casper made then I send it to Slug Christ who hopped on it and I made a second part and yeah that's the song. Let's listen to the final the final beat and the final song. I'll let it get to a bitch who will get in supplies on and off for the ritual, yeah. Let it get to a bitch, you won't get in supplies all in line for the ritual, yeah My little life is so minuscule, yeah I pass the time while I kill myself, yeah I watch it come out in intervals Giving excuses for why I'm a criminal, yeah Damn, that's like a he's so seminal, yeah Always reaching for the pinnacle, yeah I'd rather spend my all right, let's start from the top and I'm gonna show you everything that I did. So I dragged this demo into the slice mode of the sampler. I dragged it into the sample mode and sliced it up and then it sounded like... Yeah, that's the main sample. Sounds like this with the beat. Yeah, um, one of my plugins is not working anymore, and so that's the reason why I had to drag the bounce into this one. So, this is the sample part. And uh, you can see that I uh, dragged everything into the sampler, and then I pitched it three half tone steps up. This was the original pitch. Yeah, I thought it sounded nicer like uh, up three steps, so I left it like this. I'll let it get to a bitch who will get in supplies on and off for the ritual, yeah. Stagger. I'll let it get to a bitch who will get in supplies on and off for the ritual, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna mute the vocals and then we can have a look at the other things. Okay, song starts with the sample, goes into the main part, into the verse. Which is a uh, bass. Repro. Why well, put some compressor on it, a decapitator um, and the fab filter. 
nothing too crazy. I cut out some high frequencies uh, to have it more clean in the mix. So this is the bass. Then we have the, the sample. I'm gonna loop it. drums and the bass this is also the hook so the drum group is I had which is doing doing like some ch 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 bam, 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 bam. layered with the different hi hats with some micro delay and another hi hat. Let's go. Which is uh, doing the groove kind of the main like. Then we have the kick. And the crash on every one. But this time I used the little Alta Boy to put some special effects on the on the crash. Okay, so then we have the snare. The snare is um, a low 808 snare with some Devil Lock Deluxe, which is doing some I don't know, uh, doing some is doing some crunch and some like uh, gaining, and some micro shift, which is making the uh, snare a bit wider, which I thought is very nice. And then I have the open hi hat coming in the uh, coming later in in the song um, on every. One and two and one and yes, sir. That is everything uh, when it comes to the drums. And then we have the sample. So things that I put on the sample are which is disabled right now, but I use the replica delay. Um, and the reverb on the sample. Um, yeah, you can use <coughs> you can use kind of everything for it. Um, uh, I, I can recommend the Fab filter reverb or anything. Any delay from Sound Toys would be very nice too. Going into the verse part, Slugger comes right in uh, here. I am a criminal, yeah. Damn, that Slugger, he's so seminal, yeah. Always reaching for the pinnacle, yeah. yeah. So the song starts with the verse part, which has the breeze bass, then goes into the second part, which is the kind of pre-chorus, the pre-pre-chorus part, which I would say, which uh, has an 808. Because I thought the bass going for the long notes all the time is too boring, so I decided to go for an 808, which is kind of boom, 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 boom. Going to this, going to this part, which is the second part of the pre chorus. Sample does stuff like this. Says 
so I layer two kinds of sample. This is the first pattern, which I layered with the different one. So the second pattern uh, has some crazy reverb and overdrive on it, so it's like um, doing some... Uh, sounds like a crunched, uh, distorted guitar. Layered with the clean one. And the bass. Then going into the hook. Let's go. B part. Drowning. So then we're going into the um, into the blute part, into my verse. Let's go. Drowning. I am drowning. Yeah. Floating. They see my body floating on top Suffering Oh stop the suffering It's not what you want but it's what you get and it's close enough yeah, I'm yeah. trying to get through them pearly gates They're gonna examine the slug and turn me away Point me towards the way to hell and say There you go man I let it get to a bitch So and then at the end, at the last part, we are layering the 808 and the Reese bass All the vocals. We have the drum groove that is going for a groove like this and then for the very very last part we're doing a 16 note, 3, 4 and some different kind of open hi-hat action. So like every like three every first half of the of the pattern it's doing like a three so this one to make it more special and i like to have when i when it comes to like the last parts of songs i like to to um go crazy and uh, do some like little extra extra producing i don't know so it's also layered with the pre-chorus part this one and some uh, vocal echoes that i recorded and uh, some chorus on it and uh, sounds like this we have some flanger and some fat filter uh, reverb So this is layered with all the other parts. That's it, guys. You see, it's a lot of sampling action. The song is based on like different layers of samples. So it's one layer, which is doing like Then with a different layer, which is doing Stuff like this, then uh, some nice uh, Reese bass and uh, So when you get a song and someone says like sample this or make a beat out of it I would recommend to listen to the whole demo which I did. So six yeah, months I listened to the whole got... demo and then I cut out one part, cut out one part which I like and drag this part into the sampler, into the Ableton sampler. And then you just 
I don't know, you just play around and you just press different keys. Like for example, something in here, you see the, the sampler and you just play around. You just uh, look for the notes or the pattern that you like. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, So you just play around, you just play around, you just uh, take the notes or take the parts of the song of the sample that you like and then based on this you build the song and that's like it's always the same how, how if you sample songs you cut out parts of songs which you like and then you layer it with the bass, with the groove, with everything, you build on, on the sample. This is how I um, work with with samples and songs um, that I'm gonna sample. So let's have a look at the vocals. I can tell you what the answers are. No, no. So um, all the vocals that I got from from Slugger were bounced with uh, effects and uh, reverb, like everything on it. So I only had the chance to uh, cut into the stereo files so it was kind of hard sometimes to especially for the mastering uh, or for like mixing uh, shout outs to my main man stickle it was kind of tricky to get a proper mix because uh, you know all the frequencies and um, having a vocal track with all the effects on it it's, it's kind of hard to to mix because uh, you can't really like um, clean it up because everything is in one like sausage <laughs> and so um yeah, but you, we made the best out of it, and uh, I think the 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 final result is nice. Um, so. So I had like ad libs, I had a main, I had uh, a second main, and I had some reverse vocals that I like chopped and like you know, like I always do it. And then I have my vocals. Oh, stop this suffering. Yeah. It's not what you want, but it's what you get. So my chain is like you know, like always uh, some CLA, um, some deesser, uh, Fab filter deesser, some uh, classic um, a compressor uh, CLA seventy six, decapitator, and the filter freak, which is cutting out some low frequencies. Um, yeah, the many American uh, triple D is doing the deboxy, the harshing shit, and uh, the Echo Boy. So that's basically it. The master is uh, not going crazy. I have some glue compressor, I have some fab filter, a limiter. Um, if you want to listen to the song, the song is on Spotify. And then I think it's a wrap, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, big shout outs to Casper, big shout outs to Slugger, big shout outs to Slugrest, big shout outs to Fences and uh, Stickle. Make sure to subscribe uh, and tune in for the next episode. See you later. I've been feeling so down for slurs Yeah, I've been feeling so down for slurs Yo, the Ouroboros, that's what I've been staring at Yeah, I just came out from the void Yeah, that shit there was stupid lit